Good morning, Oklahoma, and welcome to Cow-Calf Corner. This week's topic is calf scours or neonatal diarrhea and a management system that involves pasture rotation that we have referred to for a long time as the Nebraska Sandhill System because this management system came about up in the Nebraska Sandhills a while back. So calf scours themselves, what are we getting into when we talk about that? We're basically talking about the scours that result in calves that are a week to two weeks of age. A number of factors are involved here as far as the pathogens that cause them and the environment that they live in. And that's not specifically our topic this week as much as how do we manage calving season to try to avoid calf scours to the extent as possible. Well, first, one of the things we know is that older calves are kind of the enemy of younger calves because they're going to shed the pathogens in a lot of cases that lead to calf scours. The adult cow herd probably carries some of those as well. And so by rotating pastures as we go through calving systems or calving season, we're trying to reduce the incidence of calf scours themselves. Calf scours result in sick calves, a lack of well-being in calves, poor baby calf performance, and even death, not to mention driving up our cost of treatment, medications, things like that. So if this has been an issue in the past for you, uh, we're gonna address some ways you potentially alleviate the problem through pasture rotation. How specifically does this system set up to work in the state of Nebraska? Uh, basically, we move into a clean pasture that's been unoccupied by cattle for several months at the beginning of calving season. And as our cows begin to calve, at the end of two weeks, we leave those pairs in pasture number one, and we move our heavy bred cows that are getting ready to calve into a second clean pasture that's been unoccupied for a few months. We calve in that pasture for about a week. We leave the pairs that have originated there in pasture two. We take those remaining bred cows to a third pasture and we continue to repeat this process in subsequent weeks until the end of calving season. Eventually we get to a point in here when calves are beyond four weeks of age, they're at a point where neonatal diarrhea is not at high risk and we can start to co-mingle those groups of calves back together and move on. So what does this require in terms of planning? If you're in Oklahoma specific to your operation, it probably requires a little bit of planning going into calving season, but it is a proven system that is shown to reduce calf scours and the amount of time we spend treating. So if it's a benefit to you, something to consider. I thank you for joining us this week on Cow-Calf Corner.